I'm cute. I'm Katie. I really hate public speaking, and welcome to my TED Talk. <laughs> you know, last name like arts, there's this unspoken assumption that you were born with some elevated level of creativity. So you can imagine the disappointment of my trials with art teachers when all of my drawings were just some uninspired copy of whatever the person next to me was doing. I pretty much refused to even attempt finger painting because honestly, who wants sticky fingers? This was probably my most inspired work from this period. Now, despite the fact that my career as a classical painter had pretty much ended before even began, there was something about artists that kept drawing me back to this most basic concept. Why do people make art and how can I tell their stories? And so began my illustrious 11-year art school adventure that ultimately helped shape me into the cultural communicator I am today. And it was during this... It was during this time that I learned something very important about myself. I'm a failure. Today I'm not ashamed to admit it. Because to be a failure is to also be fearless. Failure requires risk and resilience in equal parts. Risk, that the possibility that you might fail, and resilience to try again when you do. Failure is not the end of the road, it's the fork that forces you to ask, where do I go now? My first pottery class in wheel throwing was supposed to be an easy elective. Um, something fun to keep my hands busy during an especially rigorous semester. I was of course wrong, there is in fact nothing easy about trying to control a slippery wet ball of clay that's moving at about 10 miles per hour. Uh, I probably spent more time that semester with pots collapsing in my hands than I did anything else. There was this one project in particular that we were supposed to throw a pot that was 36 inches tall. I spent weeks perfecting it. Uh, and it exploded in the kiln. And for the first time in my life, I showed up at a critique without a final product. I was so dejected. And my teacher just looked at me and said, so what are you gonna make next? Now I have not always been such a huge proponent for failure. It's a learned art, I assure you. And like any art, it needs to be honed and practiced and practiced and practiced. Failing is a messy process, and I am admittedly not good at messy, but while quitting may seem easier, it's boring. So how does one balance this constant need to be challenged with crippling fear of failure? The answer? I have absolutely no idea. However, during my brief quarter century studying the topic, I have come up with some steps to help manage the anxiety of living somewhere in between the two. Step one, make a plan, and then break it. The first lesson of art making is that the final product rarely looks like what you envisioned in your head when you started. Likewise, in communications, flexibility is imperative, especially in our fast-paced media environment. Step two, turn a mistake into an opportunity. If infamous painter and art darling Bob Ross can turn an unintentional paint smear into a happy little tree, then we as communicators can find a way to capitalize on a crisis while still delivering accurate and consistent information. Step three, acceptance. Move on from failure. At the end of the day, you can say and do everything correctly, and your pot can still explode in the kiln for literally no reason. An effective communicator knows how to identify when to move on from a problem for the sake of a larger, more important whole. So, to all my failures out there, to you I say, congratulations. Is it still recording? <laughs>